subscribe and request a video of the next tutorial you would like to see. In this video, we're going to look at how you can create your own editor, your own window in Unity 3D. Okay, and let's begin this tutorial. So we're gonna create our own little editor and you can have it show up in here in this menu, the Windows menu, the Game Object menu, any one of those menu, it's gonna be completely up to you where you want it to show up and what you give it name and then we'll have the, the window pop up and we'll put content in the window. So let's begin by creating our first script. Um, I'll just name this custom window and I'll double click to open it up in Visual Studio Editor. This script won't be attached to any object so we can get rid of a couple of things. We'll get rid of the start and update function, a couple of those up at the top. What we really need is the using Unity Editor. And also we don't need to inherit from Mono Develop, but we will be inheriting from the editor window. Let's see if I can find that. And there it is. Um, with that done, we we can now tell it which um, drop down menu we want it to show up in. Like I said before, you could put it in the Windows, the Game Object, whichever drop down. So square brackets, menu item, and then in the parentheses, um, I'm just going to add mine to the Windows, and it actually needs to be a uh, string. So in parentheses, just uh, double quotes and then you're gonna type the name of the drop down to so the name of the menu which is window and then slash and then the name of the item that's gonna show up so I'm gonna call mine the code and noob um, fit with the YouTube channel right um, next you need to create your public static void this is a public static void and uh, this function you can just call this the open custom window. Um, I believe it's important to name it this, to be honest with you, because this is going to, this is basically uh, almost like overriding a, a function that already exists. So open custom window spelled just like mine. Next, let's create a variable here. So just var, um, let's just call it window, lowercase w. And this is going to be the editor window, editor window, one word, dot get window. And in there, um, in these parentheses here, you pass in the type of window you're looking for, which I'm just going to name this. It's going to be the same as my current class, um, which means it's empty in a sense. Okay. Um, and then just close that up. So let me call them. And the next line, we're going to create a title for this window. So var title, and that's going to be our new GUI content. New GUI content. It's a function. So open and close parentheses, and then semicolon. We're done. Uh, next, just tell it that your title dot text equals is where we're just we're going to give the title the title. So with a string format, go ahead and type your title. In my example, I'm going to type uh, the coded noob um, title. Why not? Title. Close it up with Simon Combs. Um, and then uh, just got to assign it to the window now. So you say window. Um, is it dot? Yeah. Window dot title content. There we go. Title content equals the title um, that you just made easy peasy lemon squeezy save your um, script so far and we'll head back to unity and see what we got now that we're back uh, now we're back in unity you can see that your menu shows up there and there's your title and of course the window you can drag it it kind of respond to unity like every other window now it is blank so let's add some content to it so back into the script um, what you need is the on GUI function, right? 
and inside that on GUI just give it a button name um, let's see here so it will be it will be an if condition and then your button name and we'll just go ahead and print out a debug.log. So when we press the button, this should happen. So I'll save that. And let's go back to Unity and check. It works. All right, so in here, uh, we're just going to go ahead and make it create an object for us. And just to show you that you can do more than just print a, a log. Um, so we'll go ahead, we'll just create a new object. We call it uh, Geo. And um, let's give it a name, the code in noob. Um, and as usual, semicolon and your commands. Save all back to Unity. And we'll go up to the menu. And when we click the button here, let's click the button here. And it should create an object. And there it is. Click, 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 create object. Now you can create multiple buttons if we go back to the script. You see here, we could just go ahead and multiply, duplicate the script, maybe script one, two, three, and then you see they will show up here in Unity as well. I'd like to thank you guys so far uh, for checking out the video. You guys are awesome. And subscribe if you haven't. Bye bye.